This week on DeerHunterFan.com TV. That's good. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> Fan.com TV is sponsored by 12 Point Property Management, Bee Stinger, Gold Tip, Insane Archery, Longhorn Fab Shop, Oak Ridge Game Calls, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters, Vapor Trail. And also by these fine sponsors. Be sure to visit www.deerhunterfan.com. While you're there, you can watch free weekly semi live episodes during each hunting season. And be sure to visit the Fan Zone. Once there, you can create your own profile after you sign up, upload your own videos and pictures, and have your own hunting episodes online for everyone to see. So visit us, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Hi, I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV. I just want to take a second here and talk to you about an awesome product we use, the Insane Archery Bow Camera Mount. Not only is this an awesome piece of equipment that you can use to capture your best bow hunting moments. Got good video of him. But you can also use it as a tool. Play your shots back and see exactly where you hit that animal and decide what you're going to do next. So make sure you visit Insane Archery today and purchase your Insane Archery bow camera mount and capture the hunt. Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is located in Coshocton, Ohio. If you're serious about hunting mature whitetails, Ohio is one of the best places in North America. Trophy deer hunting takes plenty of productive land and minimal hunting pressure. With over 8,000 private acres, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is the ideal place for your next trophy. Visit them on the web at ohiotrophybuck.com. You don't have to go to Illinois, Iowa, Kansas. We've got the same caliber of deer right here. I'm Brian Madison, and welcome to DeerHunterFan.com TV. In week one, I left off a story about my strategies during pre-rut hunting. Now it's the rut, and we're going to see if my plans and strategies paid off. Then we're going to jump in with Ben Sample as he hunts an area that he knows the buck screws during the rut. It's going to be a great episode, and I guarantee that you'll learn something. So let's get at it.
supposed to get down to, I think, uh, 50 degrees by sundown. Some rain coming in tonight, so hopefully they have some on their feet early. Operation Kilo Tango. Finding a killing tree. This tree here is a great example of that. I had to actually climb this tree as I went with my climber and saw off limbs as I went up the tree. Because it was the only tree. This is the tree. This is where it's going to happen. I'm going to kill my buck in this tree. This is the killing tree. And I think the buck I have the best chance of getting shot is the tall eight. He comes through here a lot with a half moon. Well, guess what? Last night was the true half moon. Tonight's just the other side of it, so. The last two half moons, he's came to this field that night. One in shooting hours. I wasn't here. I'm here tonight. stand. Had an awesome hunt here this morning. We seen four bucks I think. Got two of them on video. There we go. Oh he's running in. Well, I just got done with this morning's hunt, and uh, so quiet, so slow for such a beautiful morning it was. I did wind up seeing four doe, and a little buck came through, chased the does right through. But you know, it's just a hunting is just a game of persistence, some strategy to it. But I almost feel like right now maybe we're working, we're just trying to think too much. Just trying to do too much and basically it just comes down to, you know, we just got to catch the bucks on their feet and be out there and we'll get our chance at one. But, uh, you know, and I'm referring to me and Travis when I'm saying we, uh, a couple other guys have already had some luck and filled their tags, obviously. Um, like this morning, man, a little sun point came through. If it was the if it was the buck, it was gonna be perfect. Thirty yard shot right there, no clue I was there. He was focused on the does. Stood there broadside for about 10, 15 seconds. But I mean this that's hunting. And you you know, that's that's part of the game and it is a game. And uh, it's it's what makes it so much more rewarding when you when you do fill a tag. Alright, well here we are. It's November third. This morning I said it was November second. After hunting 30 some days, it all starts to blur together. So anyways, we're now last two weeks of postseason. It's time to get the job done. I think I'm in the spot to do it. We just need a deer to get on their feet and get moving. It's cold out. Snow's in the air. They should be moving. Jason's starting. We've seen it. Big buck down in Kansas. Time to get one in New York. with all the 
chasing that's going on out in this field this morning. Maybe they'll wind up over here. So as you saw, I didn't get a big buck, but I was seeing them and they were in the area. The problem was they were out in an area where a tree stand wasn't an option. And I wasn't about to do an experiment that time of the season and risk blowing one of those big bucks out of the area. So now I have a little bit of a project for next season. I need to find a way to hunt this spot, whether it's with a box blind or a ground blind. And I need to be able to get in and out from that stand without scaring deer out of the field. But for right now, we're going to go and have a look at Ben Sample's hunt that took place during the same time period. All right, we're heading out tonight. Got a good piece of property, seen a lot of nice bucks. I've got Dave Lewandowski with me. It's his first ever archery hunt. Today was a great day hunting overall. My buddy Todd got his first ever turkey. It was a nice jake. Deer have been moving. Like I said, we got a late start though, so Tonight will be a good night to get a buck on the ground. Let's see what happens. Track him down. 
horrible feeling not being able to recover your deer right away. You're watching DeerHunterFan.com TV. <laughs> Fat Shop. Power through anything. Tall Point Property Management offers food plots, trail cam services, brush hogging, property posting, timber services, and overall property management. Visit 12pointpropertymanagement.com. Every so often in the field, you're presented with an opportunity to make your dreams come true. Write memories, and to capture the hunt forever. Capture your hunt with the insane archery bow camera mount as seen on DeerHunterFan.com TV. Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is located in Coshocton, Ohio. If you're serious about hunting mature whitetails, Ohio is one of the best places in North America. Trophy deer hunting takes plenty of productive land and minimal hunting pressure. With over 8,000 private acres, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is the ideal place for your next trophy. Visit them on the web at ohiotrophybuck.com. You don't have to go to Illinois, Iowa, Kansas. We've got the same caliber of deer right here. Well, I just got back in the truck. It was a good night. A lot of deer moving. had a lot of does come right past my, my tree. Two of them I couldn't even get on film. They, I uh, snuck right up on me, right behind me. But the reason I'm sitting there is because so many does pass up over the, the bank right there. I'm hoping to catch a buck following one of them. The only buck I seen was a small buck early, early on, probably four o'clock, chasing some doles around the field. But uh, it was a great day. Kansas killed a nice buck. Ben hit a buck. We're gonna watch the video, decide if we're gonna track it now, or wait for uh, the dogs in the morning. He he just wasn't 100% confident about a shot, so we're gonna go back and uh, look at it on a bigger screen, blow it up, and make a decision. So let me tell you a little bit about the process if you do call the deer search of New York. Uh, they'll come out, first they'll, they'll want some information about your shot, they'll want to know if you found the arrow, and ask you where you think you hit the deer. Now here's a big advantage with us of filming, is you can actually go back and see exactly where they hit the deer. A lot of times without being on film, you'll remember a shot one way, but you know, things happen so fast, deer can duck an arrow arrow can wind up hitting the deer in a different spot than where you actually thought it did. So anyways, they'll come out after getting information on the shot and determining how long they need to wait before starting the tracking. They'll have you sign some papers to ensure that you are on land that you are allowed to be on. And then they'll, they'll go to the site of the shot, the dog will pick up the scent and start the track.
She found it. He's right up here. <laughs> hey Ben, is, I think you're gonna be happy. Woo! Oh. Sorry if I got a <laughs> That's good. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> Get him! That's yours! Look girl! Where's the arrow? We oh, never found it. What do you think? Something chew on him a little bit? Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, probably. Raccoon, probably. Good girl, where's he at? Nothing big. That's a good one. Eight yeah, Ben. I like it. You found good job, him. man. You're, you're hey, good job. Lean. I know, I just caught it on a thorn bush. No Are blood. Whatsoever. We would have never found that thing. No chance. Good girl. No blood, she just picked it right up. Well, we found him. Last night I knew I shot him a little far back. Ran to a bunch of thick stuff. We had very little blood. Never found the arrow though. Luckily, the dog, she found him for us. And I'm real happy. It's a real nice deer. I've been hunting hard. And uh, now it's time for the work. Tip Pence uh, with Deer Search. And this is my dog, Lena. Uh, we've been doing this for about, uh, this is our second season. Um, she's a year and a half old. And uh, we got a call last night that there was a, a far back shot on a buck. And uh, we came out this morning, gave the deer about 15, 16 hours. Um, put the dog down on the track. Uh, very little blood. Um, started tracking, tracking. Uh, we had to reset the track. Uh, finally, the wind came in her favor, and uh, she walked right up to it. And here's the deer. Don't walk over the blood trail and drag the blood trail around while you're doing your search trying to find the deer. You might wind up leading the dog in the wrong direction the next day when he's trying to track that scent. So I guess the biggest thing is here is if you have a questionable shot, just wait. Back out. Call the dog, guys. Get in there. You'll get your deer. This buck only went 150 yards before we found it, before laying a track right up on it. Really thick thorn apples and goldenrod. We would have been resorted to doing a, a grid search through that. You could walk right by a deer in that situation. So, moral of the story, wait. Do it the right way. And you'll probably recover your deer within 150 yards, 200 yards, even on a, a far back shot. So this was such a great episode for me. Not because Ben made a bad shot, but because I learned so much while talking to Tim, the dog handler, and learning about how Lena, his dog, works. And a couple of really cool tips I can give you that I learned from Tim was that up to an inch of precipitation can fall, and these dogs can still work with the trail. And also, they don't have to be right on the blood trail to track the deer. They can get downwind of the track and still follow the deer. And I'm going to tell you right now, I can't do that with a deer. A dog can, and they can do it really good. They're going to have a much better chance of finding a deer, especially in a case like this one. Because in the first 80 yards of the trail, we only found four drops of blood. And that was it. This deer wound up running about 200 yards into some thick cover. We would have just been roaming around blindly through goldenrod this tall with thorn apples down here. We would have been on our hands and knees. We would not have found this deer without this dog. So it's just absolutely a no-brainer. If you make a bad shot on a deer, call your local deer search and get those dogs in there. They know what they're doing. They do a great job. Absolutely amazing. I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV. That's going to do it for this week. We'll see you next time. DeerInterFan.com TV is sponsored by 12 Point Property Management, Vapor Trail, Bee Stinger, Insane Archery, Gold Tip, Longhorn Fab Shop, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters, Oak Ridge Game Calls, and also by these fine sponsors and DeerHunterFan.com, an original online free hunting show.